All right, this video is going to be short and sweet. After searching online for freaking like five or six hours through all these BS videos, uh, I finally found one that helped me fix my problem. Uh, I took the, I've got the Metal Gear Solid 4 80 gigabyte. Uh, it stopped reading DVDs and CDs, PS1, PS2, whatever. Uh, so I decided to take it apart and see if there's something obstructing the the laser lens or something, but it wasn't. So, um, the fix to that basically is to replace the laser. Um, the point of this video is to show why uh, when you go to put it back together, it doesn't accept the disc or it doesn't seat the disc correctly. So, I'll show you what it's supposed to do here. Now that I got it fixed. This spins like it's supposed to. Great, that only took me six hours. Okay. So let's take that out. Well, let's turn this off. How about that? Okay. Unplug it from the back. All right. So this comes off like this somehow. Alright, watching this other guy's video, I'll set this down here. All these other videos showed the Blu-ray drives of a different machine, not mine. There's about a trillion videos on YouTube that have a different model, I guess. It has these little gray clips on here. Um, you know, they have two gear mechanisms on, on either side here. Uh, this one only has the one. Uh, on this side over here. This was fun. I jacked this all up last night when I was messing with it. I finally got it back the way it was supposed to be. This is what it's supposed to look like. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I took this thing apart or something or all these little gears fell out over here. Took me like a half hour to put them back in. It really sucked. So be careful that those don't fall out. These little arms move out of the way whenever the disc is inserted. Um, and it hits these little sensors over here, these little triggers, uh, to tell this motor to start spinning to move these arms back and forth or something. Whatever. Anyway, put this back on. Hopefully that's right. <clears throat> On this model there's this little plastic knob that comes up that keeps the disc from being inserted once there's a disc in there. So once the disc goes in this little white knob comes up. Um, when these arms move is actually when this knob goes up and down. Okay. So In order to put this back on correctly, this left arm here has to be all the way up, or in this position right here, and then the right arm is down. And there's two little knobs that you've got to line up. Here's one of them here. And the other one is right here on this little part that moves. There's a knob that sticks up right here that has to line up um, over on this side. So if you don't have these lined up <clears throat> your disc will go in and it'll just it won't seat properly. Um, it'll just yeah it's all messed up. 
So you can snap this right side down first. Um, this knob right here actually goes right into this furthest right point of this little groove on this right arm. It actually goes in pretty easily. Um, okay. So I got this right side snapped down. And I'm leaving the left side undone here so that I can make sure this other knob goes where it's supposed to go. Because if you just snap it right down right now, it's not going to work. Your disc is going to go in, it's just going to sit there and be all retarded or something. All right. So you can take a little knife. Whoops. This thing wants to snap down really easily. I know this video is super lame, but it's my first video, so please bear with me. And no, I'm not going to go back and edit it and put stupid music with it either. Alright. You probably can't see in there at all. But basically, <clears throat> you just need to move that other little knob up just a little bit. Uh, enough for it to stay in position for you to close it down. It has to go into that other groove. It's really a pain to, uh, to do. Sometimes it wants to stay over and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't want to stay over. Alright, I'm pretty sure I got it. Sometimes you gotta hold it over while you're pushing it back together to make sure it goes back in. Um, Alright. That's basically it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Um, when the disc is out, this little arm is supposed to be all the way down uh, where it is right now. When you put the disc in, this, this moves it out of the way. I think it also push, helps push it back out. Um, same with these over here. These are, this is supposed to be all the way to the right. Um, and this one is supposed to be in that position there. 